I come across students complaining about lack of jobs in the software industry. But do you know what the industry is complaining about? The answer is lack of good employees who know how to code. Yes, the IT industry believes that students these days are simply not fit for programming jobs. And do you know what is the root of this problem? The problem starts with SPA, Structured Programming Approach, one of your subjects in semester 2. So guys, I am Professor Sandeep Gupta and in this video I will tell you about what SPA contains, why is it so difficult, why is it so important and some common mistakes which students do. Keep watching. In SPA, you will be studying C programming language, which means you will be writing lots and lots of programs in C. The biggest problem with SPA is that students don't even know the meaning of the word program. So without going into the details, I will say that a program is a sequence of instructions which makes the computer do some work. So for example, you may write a program to find factorial of a number or a program to generate prime numbers till 100 or a program to find roots of a quadratic equation. The first reason why SPA is so difficult is because it is a new subject for you. To understand this, let's take example of mechanics. Is mechanics of SEM1 a new subject for you? Not really. You have already studied the fundamentals of mechanics in 12th standard physics. So in mechanics, the topics are new, not the subject as such. Now this is not the case with SPA, where most of you will be doing programming for the first time in your lives. In fact, remember, a while back, most of you did not even know the meaning of the word program. The second reason why SPA is so difficult is because in SPA there are no methods and every problem is a new problem. Again, let's consider that situation where you are answering your mechanics question paper. Now when you are answering your mechanics question paper, after reading a particular problem, what do you think of? You try to figure out that this problem is based on which type, which method. And if you know the type, if you know the method, you answer the problem. Now this is not the case in SPA. In SPA, the concepts which you will use in the program of factorial will not be the same as the concepts which you will use in the program of prime numbers. So every program is a new program for which you will have to think right from scratch. There are no methods in SPA. Because of these reasons, most of the students get a KT in SPA in SEM2. In fact, the pass percentage of SPA is never more than 30% and at times it is as low as 15%. Let me tell you something very interesting. Some of you must be knowing that earlier SPA was in semester 1. And what Mumbai University did is it shifted SPA from semester 1 to semester 2 because it wanted to improve the pass percentage in semester 1. Lots and lots of students used to get a KT in SPA in semester 1. So is that solving the problem or simply postponing the problem? You know the answer. Now once you know what SPA is, let's try to understand its importance. But before that, let me give you an eye-opener. Do you know, apart from CompIT, students of most of the other branches eventually seek a job in the IT industry. And if you want to do well in the IT industry, you need to be very good in SPA. You need to take SPA very seriously. Because SPA is the foundation of programming. And you know very well that what happens to a building whose foundation is weak. So guys, if you are not good with C programming, you will struggle with Java, you will struggle with Python, JavaScript, Android and so on. And finally, after 4 years, the IT industry will consider you as one of those 90% students who are simply unfit for programming jobs. 
Now let's talk about some misconceptions regarding SPA. Some students are very good with nitty gritty of computers, be it installing softwares or formatting a hard drive or anything else. These students believe that in SPA we will be studying about basic computer usage and maintenance. Well guys, SPA is not about using a computer, it is about programming a computer. And programming a computer is a totally different ball game. One more misconception. There are some students who have studied HTML CSS in their 11th 12th standard or in their school. These students believe that C programming is similar to HTML. So tell me one thing, what is the full form of HTML? It is hypertext markup language. And I repeat markup language. So guys, HTML is not even a programming language whereas in SPA we will be studying C programming language. They are different. And finally the most important thing. Because SPA is so important and difficult most of you will take professional help for SPA. But I have seen many innocent students who take SPA coaching from their maths or BWE or mechanics teacher. So guys, tell me one thing, if you have a fracture in your hand, will you go to an eye surgeon? Obviously no. Understand a very simple thing. A person can teach either maths nicely or SPA nicely but not both. So guys, ask your seniors, go to a good teacher and become better programmers.